Hi and welcome to WEH videos. My name is Skip and this is part two on the ILS system, Instrument Landing System. So I want to cover the various types in X-Plane and hopefully I'll cover uh, one that's used in your airplane. If you are new to X-Plane and flying and you tried to do an ILS landing and you couldn't get it to work, there are a couple of things you may not have known and I'm sorry I didn't mention them in part one to save you some frustration. Now while my Cessna 172 here has approach, yours may not. So you couldn't have taken advantage of the glide slope when you were trying to land and that could have been part of the problem. The default Cessna 172 doesn't come with a glide slope or approach in the autopilot. I said, but you know, you can add these features in Plane Maker if you want. And I did a couple of tutorials on Plane Maker, so check it out if you're interested in adding the glide slope or approach feature to the airplane you're flying so you can take advantage of the ILS uh, landing systems. So you can go to my channel, WEH Videos, and click on the playlist. And there you'll find all my video categories, and one of them is uh, plane maker so click on that and check out all the videos on plane maker all right so here we are we've been flying around the bay area now i know i know this is not realistic at all number one we would be never flying around this altitude in this part of the bay area there's all kinds of airspace we'd be violating but just for the sake of this tutorial we are now flying towards Dumba. Remember on our approach plate we had Dumba at 4,100 feet it's where we wanted to be and that's about 14 miles from the airport. We needed to be within this area in order to pick up the uh, glide slope. So with our little Cessna 172 we could be anywhere in here to pick up uh, this glide slope. We should be just fine. So again this is way out of range here for real life but we need to uh, first set our nav radio to 111.7 and flip it over and now you can see that our localizer is way off to the right so we need to continue to fly to the right we know that the airport is over here and our glide slope is way above us. So now we wait for the localizer to become active, and it has. So we can start turning. Now this is going to be a, a manual flight, a manual ILS approach. We don't need to have the autopilot fly the airplane for us. And we're just going to swing a little bit around. Here's the airport right here. And we're just going to kind of line up with the runway with the localizer. Once the localizer needle is centered we will turn to a course of 283. And now we're flying at 3200 feet and we're at level flight here. The glide slope is above us. We do not have to climb to capture the glide slope. We'll just fly straight and level and it will come down to us. No reason to chase that. So as the localizer needle moves over towards center, we turn more and more towards the runway. So we're pretty darn close right now. Now just to speed this up a little bit, we're not going to wait for this to come down. Uh, let's just say we wanted to let the autopilot do this all by itself. So we have our nav 1, nav 2, and GPS switch. We have the autopilot on and auto. So let's switch to auto, click on approach, and now I'm hands free the airplane is going to fly up to the glide slope it's going to capture the glide slope which it already has we've captured the glide slope now we just need to get to the glide slope and then we will um, have the airplane take us to the runway all by itself so I'm going to pause this for a second and we'll come back after we've um, got the glide slope uh, closer to the center all right, it looks like we're pretty close and we're now uh, descending at 500 feet per minute. That's what the autopilot decided was necessary. And that's it. 
we now will fly right down to that decision point and when we get to that decision point we are going to turn off the autopilot and land the airplane this does not land the airplane for you now with an approach I don't believe you need to select LOC the localizer I believe you can just click on approach and it will do the same thing and we'll see something a little different in the next airplane also you can just leave the autopilot on and fly it yourself now the autopilot is all engaged and everything but it is not flying the airplane remember to set your nav radio to the right radio nav 1 get your frequency right 111.7 and if you want the airplane to do it by itself click on the autopilot and there you see it took over automatically and will fly the airplane down to that decision point which you have to determine if you're going to continue turn the autopilot off and land the airplane now we are in the Baron 58 that came with X-Plane. The Cessna 172N I used for the first landing was purchased and modified extensively in Plane Maker and in Photoshop. So here we have the stock X-Plane Baron 58 in their instrument panel and controls. So we're going to do the same thing we're going to fly heading to intercept the glide slope and this time we're going to let the autopilot take complete control right down to the missed approach point now we're not going to fly all the way down there but you'll get the idea now you notice that the buttons and switches for the autopilot are on a control panel down here we have the autopilot on off you got to be careful though. This is an easy thing to forget. If you don't turn it on, it's not going to fly the airplane for you. So we have heading, flight director, FD, altitude, nav. This is a new button here. We used LOC for localizer. Now we're going to use nav to engage the autopilot that you would do that for the GPS or the nav radios. BC is back horse and then here's an approach button just like on the Cessna that we saw. Also notice up here on the upper left we have an HSI source. Here's our HSI and we can select nav1 or nav2 or the GPS so we can tie the HSI into any one of those nav devices but we are going to do just like we did before select nav1 111.7 for runway 28 right at San Francisco so now we're set to go so let's get up here where we can see what we're doing so we are flying in a course here's our airport over here let's look at our HSI I'm going to start turning in that direction and we are going to intercept the glide slope as you can see it's starting to move pretty quickly I'm going to have to turn pretty sharply here to make sure it doesn't beat us over there notice that I haven't set the course on the HSI so this is a little confusing I'm still trying to line up the HSI and so why don't I just take this course needle and turn it around to 283 which is right about there now I can line it up notice that our glide slope on this HSI has an indicator on both sides and they're pegged so we're quite a bit below we are at 2600 feet uh, we're gonna climb a little bit to capture that glide slope but we've got nav 1 set let's just go down here we're gonna turn the autopilot on we're gonna click on approach and the nav says approach and the AP is all set autopilot so we're ready to go I'm gonna pause this and be right back all right as you can see we have captured the glide slope it is dropping down to our center point and if we've done this correctly when it gets here we will start descending and there we go now the autopilot has 
capture the glide slope and you notice up here we have an indicator that tells you what is active we're in the nav mode we have the autopilot on and now the glide slope is active and so there you have it we are going to end up down at our decision point down here to decide if we want to land or not and that's all there is to it for the Baron 58 all right so here's another nice little airplane that you can get for free it's designed and developed by a fellow named after goes by after it's a free download from the org it's a Falcon and here we have our localizer and I do believe that our glide slope is going to show up first of all so we click on here for the radio we set our nav radio to 111.7 we do the switch over and then we can come over here and we can click on approach I'm going to pause here and wait for it to pick up the glide slope and everything all right we've picked up the localizer and the glide slope and as you can see we are now coming in for a landing on 28 right into San Francisco all right here we are in the default 172 SP that comes with X plane and if you've been flying this and haven't modified it you're probably pretty frustrated as you can see I've made a lot of changes here I've put in the flip-flop radios here instead of just the one radio the one thing that I could not find and if somebody knows where this is maybe you can help me but there is no nav1 nav2 GPS selection button on the one that comes with X plane I had to add these buttons in now it had the on off auto which was down here below the radios but you cannot use the nav radios because there's no way to select which one you want to use so when you go ahead and put the information in and click on the LOC nothing happens it doesn't know which radio you're using so that airplane needs to be modified quite a quite a bit if you want to fly the stock Cessna 172 SP that comes with X plane these are the modifications I made and again I want to push plane maker a bit you can do a lot of things to make an airplane like this little SP that I could not get to navigate until I made these changes so just wanted to show you that as long as we're in this little 172 SP there's one more thing I want to show you and that is we have LOC and GS so this is glide slope if you want to use the ILS system with this airplane you need to have the glide slope and the localizer selected if you had approach APP button here you would not have to select these you would just click the approach button you may have noticed that on the other airplane so remember for an ILS landing you could have an approach button to select or a glide slope and a nav button to select or a LOC localizer button and a glide slope button to select and you also may have an HSI which you need to select the correct nav radio for remember also that you can fly an ILS approach manually or with the autopilot just turn the on off auto switch to on and fly manually and then switch it to auto for the autopilot to fly the airplane so that's it for my ILS landing tutorial in X-Plane. I hope this helped you in some way. If you like this, please click the like button. If you would like to leave a comment or leave me a message, that would be great. And thank you so much for watching, and God bless.